Has Christianity always been one of the religions in the world to you? Oh, hallelujah. Christianity is not a religion. Neither is it a joining of a church and doing the Christian things like praying and giving and so on. Hallelujah. Christianity is the outworking of God's own kind of life received into the spirit of a man. Whoa! This divine life in the heart of a man makes him righteous, keeps him healthy, divinely guarded in life, prosperous and victorious. It gives you the ability to enjoy intimate fellowship with the Father and have dominion on this earth. Hallelujah! Yes, in every generation on the earth, God sends special messengers with unique messages to fulfill his word in their dispensation. Whether through the Emancipator, church services, special conferences like the New Christian Conference or the Good Life Devotion, carefully listen, watch and read the message of life and of the divinity of the church ministered by Dr. David Bindan as ordained by God in the scriptures to mature the body of Christ into the full measure of the stature of Christ. Dr. David Bindan, taking us on our journey in Christ into sinlessness, sicklessness, deathlessness, lacklessness, and leaving us manifested sons of God to the glory of our Father. Hallelujah. Join Dr. David Bindan on the Good Life Devotion every Monday to Friday on this channel and receive truth that will usher you into the divine life experience of sinless holiness, incorruptible health, deathlessness, and reigning in life as a son of God in the full measure of the stature of Christ. The NCC Hub is all about reminiscing things of the past, going through past sessions of the New Christian Conference, looking at dimensions that the Spirit of God would like us to retreat so that He will minister to us, those of us who were there and those of us who were not there, and also get us more prepared for what He has for us in this year's New Christian Conference. Wow, praise the Lord, hallelujah, hallelujah. Such a joy once again to welcome you to today's special episode of our favorite Good Life Devotion, and especially on these special sessions of the New Christian Conference Hub Discussions. We have had amazing times since last week with amazing ministers from various ministries, and we started yesterday with in-house ministers, that's the New Creatures Fellowship, and within the Final Global Movement. And we have had special time yesterday where enjoying the word from... Um, Reverend Dr. Felix Kupuni and Reverend Dr. Bismarck Bugasari. Today is a special day also. I'm here with wonderful brethren from the New Creatures Fellowship and I'm going to introduce them very soon to you. But I want you to know that all these excitements are towards the all awaited for New Creation Conference 2024 where we're going to be discussing the subject of deathlessness, living and not dying. I'm going to take a journey in scriptures. Don't wait for someone to come and tell you something else. Come and hear for yourself. Let's travel in the scriptures. And after that, you can make a decision for yourself. So on the 14th, the 15th of November, all roads are leading to the Accra International Conference Center, 5.30 p.m. each evening. And on the 15th, 8.30 a.m. in the morning, ministers, church leaders will be expected to be there, the same venue, for a special fellowship of ministers. It has been awesome. We just began this week looking at a brief review of previous New Creation Conferences. And yesterday, we did take a look at, um, at the 2016 New Creation Conference, and we were blessed. We're going to do the same thing today as we move on to the New Creation Conference 2017. And, of course, time will not permit us to finish the whole thing, but we, we feasted on over two days. We can summarize it in 30 minutes and give you everything but we are going to give you what the Spirit of God wants you to hear now. That will, one, reminister the life and the spirit of that conference, and number two, prepare you for the 14th and the 15th of November for this year's session of the New Creation Conference. So we are going to do that briefly. But just before I introduce you, um, our special guest for today, let's pray. Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus, we give you all the praise, we give you all the glory. We honor you for your love for the world. We thank you special for giving us this portion of the work in your vineyard to bring to the whole world and especially to this sitting on the Gulai devotion. 
We give you praise in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. So today, I'm here with another pair of special ministers in the New Creatures Fellowship. And I'd like them to introduce themselves. So I'll begin with the one on my immediate right. Apostle, kindly introduce yourself to us. Well, thank you so much, sir, for the opportunity to be on set with you. Blessed. I am Pastor Dr. William Ghani, mm. and I pastor the Kulegoro Main English Church, mm. and I am a consultant hematologist mm. at the Ghana Institute of Clinical Genetics wow. at the Kulebu Teaching Hospital. Wow. Thank you so much, Pastor Ghani, for coming. We are glad to see thank you. Thank you, sir. You can see smiles already. <laughs> All right, on my immediate left, Apostle can introduce yourself. Thank you so much, Papa, for this great opportunity. You're blessed. I am Pastor Dr. Faisal Ajay. Mm-hmm. Um, I pastor the Indigenous Assembly mm-hmm. of the New Creatures Fellowship, mm-hmm. and I'm a consultant orthopedic surgeon mm-hmm. at the Trauma and Orthopedics Department of the Kolebu Teaching Hospital. Wow. Thank you so much, Apostle, for coming. Just before we start, you are a consultant surgeon, right? Yes. And you are handling an indigenous church. That's the chi and the ganchi. How, how does it go with you there? <laughs> Thank you so much for the opportunity. Mm. You know, um, as far as we are concerned, mm. I mean, before God, mm. every soul is a soul. Mm. And the, the value of God mm. on a being, mm. a human, mm. uh, who becomes a son of God is the same, regardless mm. of your education. All these things mm. about this language, this education, mm. before God, they don't exist. Yeah. And so for me, it doesn't really make any difference mm. to me. Wow. And I'm able to interact with my brethren. I love them mm. and we flow at that level. Wow, I'm excited. You know, sometimes we, a lot of people allow a lot of human things to define their perspectives. of Even in ministry, in today's day of ministry, what they call ministry branding and that, people get a place where it's like their ministry is only to a group of certain people, you know. But Jesus died for everyone. Yes, predominantly, depending on how you are raised and the calling, you reach a group of people. But we must do everything to let the message of God go down to everyone that came on this earth. Because everyone is so special. Wow, that was just the, the, the appetizer for <laughs> today's session. Good, we started a new Christian conference in 2016. And uh, we moved forward to 2017. What did we talk about that day? I mean, we usually have two days, right? So you have to start out from day one. What did we discuss? Uh, and I mean, what the Spirit of God is leading you to help us uh, remember and refresh in on the first day of New Christian Conference 2017? Well, thank you, sir, for the opportunity. Uh, maybe bef- uh, add it right. on to the appetizer okay. <laughs> before I come to the main <laughs> thing. You know, that is how the New Christian Conference is. Mm. The New Christian Conference is for everyone. Mm. The message may sound high, Mm -hmm. but you'll be amazed at the simplicity with which the message is delivered, Mm. even though with so much power. Mm. All right. So the new Christian conference is for everyone. Mm. So don't take yourself out of it. Wow. And and I'm I'm excited about that because, you know, we have brethren coming from Pasa and Dambai and other places. And I was amazed to discover that some of these brethren don't even understand English. And yet... When we finish NCC and you interact with them, it's amazing how the spirid works. It's the atmosphere mm. in the, and the ministry of the spirit, like mm. you said. And that's why we always inspire you to be there. Mm-hmm. You know, we always say that the venue is like an oven. Mm-hmm. Just being there alone. Mm. And you see, before God and before sons of God, there is no limitation. Excellent. Language, mm-hmm. just being in that atmosphere. Exactly in that presence mm. alone, alone is more than enough yeah. for transformation. So you may be sitting there and say, oh, I don't understand English mm. and all that. If you come, it, it's amazing. One time I interacted with somebody from a person I was shocked. The person doesn't understand English, but the summary of what the person said, you could see that the spirit really ministered to this person. Amazing. So this thing is a ministry of life and spirit and it is not language bad. Not at all. It is heart needed. Mm. If your heart is in it, God will minister to you. Wow. Wow. So now you can flow concerning 2017. So 2017 mm. was awesome. Mm. We looked at the orientation to the new creation message. Mm. And it made us understand that, I mean, the new creation message is not something that 
uh, is being preached to sound, you know, high or anything of that sort. But it's actually biblical. Mm -hmm. And it's actually the message that the body of Christ needs now. Mm. Because Jesus is not coming for a feeble church. Mm. Jesus is not coming for a baby church. Mm. Jesus is not coming for a weak church. Mm. It is stated categorically in the scripture. Jesus is coming for a glorious church. Mm. A church that is united in their faith, mm. fully expressing the divine nature. Mm. And it is the message of the new creation that will bring the church there. Mm. But then we need the right orientation. Mm -hmm. Because if not, you end up producing very high sounding people mm. who are vitally uh, ineffective. Mm. And that's why we need the right orientation for the new creation message. Mm. And you now, see, not to cut you short. Um, before we come to why that orientation is important, you made a statement that requires digging into. You said, the Bible specified which church Jesus is coming for. And it is the new creation message that will get the church there. Now, somebody may think, oh, well, because that is the message you preach, you are trying to make it more important than something else. How true is that statement? What is your basis? Why are you saying that it's a new creation message that will make the church arrive at where it ought to be for the coming of our Lord? Anybody? Oh, th th thank you, Papa. Mm. Um, so maybe, with your permission, let's read a scripture. Okay, Ephesians chapter 5. Mm -hmm. Ephesians chapter 5, mm. verse number 25. Okay. The and we'll read into 26. It says, Husbands, mm. love your wives even as Christ also loved the church mm. and gave himself for it. Mm. Why? Verse 26. That he might sanctify and cleanse it mm. with the washing of water by the word. Mm. And then in 27, he says that, that he might present it to himself, mm. a glorious church, mm. not having spot or wrinkle or any such thing, but that it should be holy and without blemish. So God or Jesus mm. is going to present to himself a church that is glorious, mm. a church that is without wrinkle, a mm. church that is without any spot. Mm. In other words, and glory is the essence of God. Mm. So if he's presenting to himself a glorious church, mm. he's presenting to himself mm. a church that is him. Mm. And it takes the message of the new creature mm. to know that we are not just human beings who have been polished, mm. but we are sons of God who carry in us the very nature of mm. God. It is this message that brings us into the realization of this glory we mm. are. It won't take any other message. Mm. And it is this message that will move the church out of babyhood mm. into maturity, which mm. is what he's going to present to himself. Mm. So when we say it is this message, it is founded on scripture. Mm. It is not going to take just any message that makes the church feel feeble, mm -hmm. weak, and beggarly. Mm -hmm. That is not the kind of church Jesus mm -hmm. is presenting to himself. All right, just before we, maybe you come in. So in that case, um, what is the place for maybe another kind of message that is consumable to a babe? Is there a place for such a message? Does that mean that anyone who is not preaching new creation uh, is not preaching the correct message? Well, um, yeah. it's about timing mm. you know God does everything according to time mm -hmm. so over the period mm -hmm. um, the church was born as a baby church mm -hmm. and God is gradually building his church mm -hmm. so God permits messages at certain points in time to mm. take the body of Christ from one point to another mm. but as everything is rounding up mm. and Jesus is coming mm. This is the time mm. for this message mm. to actually mature the church, mm. to become the icons of Christ mm. that Jesus is coming, coming. for. So, so, you know, I, I don't know if you have understood, but you see, it's the truth. There is a place for milk, breast milk for a child's life. There's a place for semi solids There's a place for solid food. If even you, the scientist, you tell us that maybe at a certain age, people don't need to consume a lot of milk, adults. But when the person is a child, largely his meal is milk. It doesn't mean that milk is wrong, but it's timing. Everywhere in every nation, the Spirit is speaking, Jesus is coming. Jesus is coming. But one thing many are not asking is, for who is he coming? <laughs> Where he is sounding his coming is to draw our attention to get ready. Mm. Mm. 
And that is what tells us that now is the time for that message that will make the church what it ought to be for his coming. Exactly. So when we say the new creation message is the message for the now, it is not because probably because we have been given the mandate to preach it predominantly, we are trying to make someone else's message. No, 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 no. It's because it is the truth as we have substantiated it from the word of God. Did you want to say something there before we come back to 2017? <laughs> Thank you, Papa. I think Pastor nailed it mm. right on the head mm. that, you know, th- th- this message is what the church needs at this time. Mm. Because we, we are in the age where things are being rounded up. Mm. And the church can no longer continue to remain mm. as a babe. Mm. In fact, the times have changed. Mm. And it is time for the church to feed on strong meat, mm. solid food, mm. and break bones. Mm. So the days of feeding the church with milk had its place. Mm. And it kept the church up mm-hmm. until this point. Mm-hmm. But God's desire, just mm-hmm. like every person would not want your child to continue remaining mm-hmm. a babe mm-hmm. thousand years mm-hmm. thereafter. <laughs> that is not God's intention mm-hmm. for the church. So at some point, the meal changes. Mm-hmm. It doesn't mean that when you fed milk, mm-hmm. milk was wrong. Mm-hmm. No. What it means is that no, at this it? point, your needs are not mm-hmm. going to be met by milk. milk. Solid food. Wow. Mature food. And one of those... Bones is deadlessness. Uh, yeah. <laughs> we are going to talk about that on the 14th and the 15th of November, right at Accra International Conference Center, 5:30 p.m. each of those evenings. You can't miss it. Uh, I think we have to go on a short break right now. When we return, we'll pick it up from there. We'll be right back after this break. world whatever does not get challenged does not change any state will continue to be that same state until it is challenged adam brought death and jesus dissolved death but death continues to behave as if it is king and that will continue until some people challenge it according to the scriptures god himself has determined that there will come a time that he will raise a people that will dissolve death on this earth we have over D-E-A-T-H. Get ready for the New Creation Conference 2024 with Dr. David Bindan on the 14th and 15th of November 2024. Theme, Deathlessness. Venue, Accra International Conference Center, Accra, Ghana. Time, 5.30 p.m. each evening. New Creation Conference, helping you exhibit the divine life. Wow, wonderful viewers, listeners or readers, depending on the platform you are using, you are welcome back. And I've been here today having a very amazing time in the studio with amazing sounds of God, uh, Pastor Dr. William Kwesigani and uh, Pastor Dr. Faisal Ajay. You are welcome again. Thank you, sir. Welcome Thank you, sir. again. You know, you were making a statement before I came in about um, orientation to the new creation message and that if that is not done, Somebody will become high sounding yet uh, vitally ineffective. Just before I move on to Pastor Pfizer, can you explain to us what you were trying to say by those big English words? <laughs> <laughs> All right, sir. Thank you for the opportunity. So, you know, just before there was uh, a father figure who came for one of our services, and I think um, he said, I've been watching you on the Gula devotion, but yeah, not bro, for no, no, shit. It's like at the same time, the, the language we use. <laughs> So sorry about that. <laughs> we are trying to bring it down. So, Pastor Gandhi, change you from the high sounding and vitally ineffective and break it down to us. <laughs> All right. All right. So thank you for the opportunity. Mm-hmm. So, if you go back to 2016, mm-hmm. you made us understand that the new creature mm-hmm. is the present hour reality. reality. Mm-hmm. All right. And that takes you from. Um, the struggles of humanity, mm. it lifts you above it. If you understand who you are as the mm. new creature, you are far above all the limited rudiments mm. of this world. Mm. So these things are truths. Mm. And when the message is shared, people consume them. Mm-hmm. And they start saying it, mm-hmm. talking it. Mm-hmm. Um, I am God. 
I am above mm-hmm. uh, the devil. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm above any limited rudiments of I this world. world. I own the world, <laughs> you know. But you look at the life of the person, mm. and there's nothing really to show. Mm. And so you are wondering what the issue really is, and it's because the person has not had the right uh, positioning mm. uh, w- regarding the message of mm. the new creation. Mm. So that's why we are saying that if you don't have the right orientation, mm-hmm. you may talk big, mm-hmm. but in your life mm-hmm. there will be nothing to show. Mm. So people around you may even start ridiculing mm-hmm. you or start doubting what because this of, message exactly. really is. Yeah, you know because we know. A good number of people who believe the truth of this message, but their lives, you can't see the reality, and they keep talking big. And so sometimes um, people begin to discredit, but it's not because the message itself has a challenge. You need to know how. So now let's quickly shift for the next few minutes and look at so what orientation must one have towards the new creation conference, a new creation message? Because today at the new creation conference, we're going to be talking about new creation. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Thank you so much. Mm-hmm. I mean, I think what Pastor Ghani just shared, mm-hmm. I mean, nicely morphs into the question you have asked mm-hmm. that you need to understand in fact, what Christianity is. Mm-hmm. And that helps you have the right orientation to mm-hmm. this message. What is the Christianity? That it, it is not, it, it's a family affair. <laughs> <laughs> It's a family affair. This is a big bomb. Mm. This is a big bomb. Mm. I'll take off here now. We don't stop. <laughs> because see, there's this knowledge of Christianity that says God is God. We are humans. We are nothing. Mm. It's not like that. God is God, but He has begotten us mm. into the kind of His kind. Mm. And so we are now a family. So you are no more strangers, mm. but you are now members of the household of God. The day it dawns on a Christian that I'm not just a human and he is God, mm-hmm. but I'm God's son, meaning that I'm begotten of God and I'm of the same family. Mm-hmm. Several things change. Yeah. It's a family affair. Please flow. Oh, thank you. So, like you said, it is not a relationship between human beings mm-hmm. and some big God mm-hmm. they can't even have a personal mm-hmm. relationship with. No. This is a relationship between God and his sons, his own bona fide sons, mm-hmm. living in fellowship with him. Mm-hmm. And once you have this orientation, I mean, this understanding, it changes your perspective out of the new creation message. Mm. That it is not some high-sounding message mm. as people make it, yeah. but it is really a discovery mm. of yourself as a son of God. Mm. And these things are not strange. Mm. It is about, uh, Reverend Opuni shared with us yesterday, mm. it is about nature. nature. And once you understand these <laughs> things, you understand that the message you are being taught, mm. the message you are learning from the word of God, it is only telling you about who you, you really are. are. Mm. And it no longer becomes a struggle. Mm. Because human beings do not struggle to discover <laughs> that they are humans and they can and walk, they can do and live as such. Mm. And once you have this orientation mm. that this thing is about God, my father, mm. and myself mm. in this loving fellowship, mm. it now sets you in the right perspective mm. to understand the message, the message that I'm learning about myself. Mm. And not just am I learning about myself, this is who I really I, am, and, and I, I must live, live like that, that way. Mm. Wow. Wow. So you need an orientation. So if you are, if probably maybe this is your first time of hearing about New Creation Conference. We inspire you to go to our YouTube channel. Look for New Christian Conference 2017. You can get some pieces of the messages there. And learn how to orient yourself so that when you come, you'll be well settled to receive the things that are coming to you. Because if you are not oriented at all, some of the things may sound too high to be real, but they are truth. And they're actually truth about you. And when you settle that these are truths about me, it changes everything. In fact, our time is up and we've not even delved into the matter. So let me give you 30 seconds to give us some conclusive thoughts. 30 seconds to give us conclusive thoughts, then we'll go. I'll have you back another time this week. All right, Pastor Gani, please flow. Wow, thank you, sir. Mm. So if any man be in Christ, mm. he's a new creature. Mm. It is true. It is true. It is really true. Mm. And to think yourself as a human mm. relating with God mm. is a deception. Mm. Say it again. Mm. To think of yourself mm. as human relating with God mm. is a deception. That is who? Who is this person? The Christian. The Christian. The born again. The born again. So when you are born again and you still think that you are a human relating with God, it's a deception. Please land. <laughs> wow, thank you, sir. <laughs> so that's why 
we are inspired yeah. and of course you inspired us on the two to walk in the newness mm. of this life because you are really new so you need to walk in the newness of life because you are really new you want to hear more what Pastor Gani said go and look for that message watch it refresh yourself and get set as we go into deeper matters about 30 seconds oh, thank you so much <laughs> you know maybe I'll just run up with what Pastor okay. Gani just shared about walking in the newness of life mm. you know when you discover who you are as a new creature, immediately you must begin to understand that there is a certain life that is at work in mm. you. In fact, there's a life you have become. Mm. And you must begin to live as such. Mm. You must begin to shed off what existed mm. before mm. and begin to live in this newness of mm. life. It starts with a certain focus. Mm about where you originated from. Mm. And these are some of the things you'll be taught at the New Creation Conference. Mm. And that is why you are inspired to be there. Mm. Because once you begin to, you know, live with that consciousness of that origin mm. of your nature, mm. you know that although you are walking on this mm. end, you are flying right. high Hallelujah. <laughs> this is what the New Creation Conference will do to you. Although you are walking on this end, you are flying high. What a place and how to live. Like last year we looked at brought into the heavenly dignity will be coming there and your life will never be the same wow our time is up you have been watching us and you have not yet received jesus i have a passionate appeal to you this thing is not like another religion there is someone who made this world he knows you and when he was bringing you not as a goat not as a stone not as a mountain but as a human he had a plan the plan is that at a point you receive his life and be begotten to his very kind how did he make that possible? He sent his son. His very word took upon him the form of a man and came to this world and died and rose again. The death and resurrection were necessary to bring man who was kind of lost back to him. Reconciliation, that has happened. Now the life is available for you to receive. It's everywhere waiting to kind of force its way into you if you open the gate of your heart and believe. Do you believe Jesus is the son of God? If you do that, or if you have believed, the life of God has filled you and you are born again. But you need to be conscious of this so that it guides your life. That's why I want to help you make a confession to consolidate that. Say, Jesus, I just received eternal life because I believed that you are the son of God. I am born again. Yes, we know and we are glad and we congratulate you on being born again. Make sure you get planted in Bible teaching and practicing church and remain in the fellowship of sons and daughters of God to just come. Don't forget to make time on the 14th, the 15th of November and be at the Accra International Conference Center at 5.30 p.m. as we faced in the Word of God this year. I've been here today with esteemed Pastor Dr. C. Ghani and Pastor Dr. Fazal. Thank you for coming. We enjoyed you. We shall have you back within the week to enjoy again. God Thank bless you, you so much. Yeah, surely I'm going to meet you again in our next episode, but till then, life is good. Enjoy. Thank you for joining today's episode of your favorite Good Life Devotion with Dr. David Bindam. The Good Life Devotion is proudly brought to you by friends and partners of the Final Global Movement. For more information on how to become a partner, call us on 053-444-6907 or log on to our website, finalglobalmovement.org. Become a partner today and contribute to the global spread of God's message for the now. Follow us on our various social media handles and you will be blessed. Don't miss the Good Life devotion on the channels displayed on your screen at the scheduled times. Till we come your way with the next episode of the Good Life devotion with Dr. David Benden. Life is good. Enjoy. Enjoy.